Hey, I'm Oscar Pevel Orangutan. As you may have guessed by now, I'm an orangutan. These are my brothers, Ollivander and Otto. Anyhow, this is my story. Or rather, our story. This is our story. The tale of the three brothers and the palm oil. It was a normal day. We were just sitting in the trees, eating fruit, having a great time. When all of a sudden, out of the bushes, jumped a human! <sighs> we watched him with interest and caution, for we did not know exactly what it was. But then there was more of them, a whole group coming right towards us. They were shouting about something, and had these sharp metal things. <laughs> they were shouting about something, and had these sharp metal things that made an awful noise. All of a sudden, the tree next to us creaked and fell. We couldn't believe it. The entire tree, just falling. We were beginning to get really concerned before the human circled our tree. It began to quiver and the horrible noise started again. I scrambled down the tree, remembering what had happened to the other one, and my brothers followed me. We ran as fast as we could into the forest, luckily unspotted by the evil humans. We were safe, for now. It was a few days later, we had a new tree, and had put the terrible events behind us. Ollivander was foolishly proud of himself that day, even more so than usual, and he bragged that his tree could never be chopped down by a mere human. Let's just say, the humans proved him wrong. Otto and I managed to escape, scrambling into the bushes and watching in horror. We stayed in the bushes all that night, watching as the humans chopped down more and more trees. I couldn't believe what they were doing to our home. Eventually, I built up the courage to run away from them. I was terrified. Otto had wandered off because his wife, Olivia, had been killed by the humans the day before. He went off to where she used to live, only to find these huge plantations of some sort, oil palm trees everywhere. He did not return, and I am sadly assuming he has joined Olivia. As for me, I lived alone, spending more and more time on the ground out of fear. But then a human approached. She was nice to me. She took me very gently and got me safely to a sanctuary. The bad humans never found me. I was safe now, at Sepulok Sanctuary, where all animals that are in danger go.